Hello everyone. I am Kapila here, your English teacher. And today we will take up the chapter, The Tiny Teacher from the book An Alien Hand, which you can download from the link given in the description. The chapter is about the smallest insect, its life and what all can we learn from this small insect. Because we can learn from this insect, it is also a tiny teacher. So let's begin with the reading of the chapter. Name the smallest insect you have seen and the wisest. Is it the fly? No, it isn't. Is it the mosquito? No, not the mosquito. Then it must be the worm. No, none of these. It is the ant, the commonest, the smallest, but the wisest insect. The story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue. But people have kept ants as pets and have watched their daily behavior closely. So we know a number of facts about this tiny, hardworking and intelligent creature. So you can name many small creature, creatures such as mosquito, you can name it as worms etc. But still the smallest is the ant and because people have kept ants as pets, we know a lot about the ants behavior. They are very intelligent and they are very hardworking. An ant uses its feelers or antennae to talk to other ants by passing messages through them. Watch a row of ants moving up or down the wall. Each ant greets all the others coming from the opposite direction by touching their feelers. There are many kinds of ants. The commonest among them are the black or red ones. We have seen them since we were children but haven't paid enough attention to them. Where do they live? in their comfortable homes called nests or ant hills. Each has hundreds of little rooms and passages. In some of these rooms, the queen lays eggs. Others are nurseries for the young ones called grubs. Workers have their reserved quarters. They spend most of their time searching for food. Some rooms serve as storehouses for this food. Soldiers have separate barracks. No worker has ever tried to live in a soldier's house. No soldier has ever gone out searching for food. No worker or soldier or cleaner has ever harmed a grub. So you see, an ant's life is very peaceful. Each does its share of work intelligently and bravely and never fights with other members of the family. So. The ants, they use their feelers or antennae. If you must have seen ants, you know, they, they move in a row on a wall or anywhere on the ground. And then what happens that from the opposite direction, the other ant is coming. They pass messages through the feelers or the antennae. This is how they communicate to each other. They greet each other. They stop, they greet each other. And the ants, they live in very systematic houses which have got hundreds of rooms and passages. And there are separate rooms for all other kinds of ants. Like you have worker ants you have soldier ants you have the grubs grubs are the young ones and the queen lays eggs in these rooms small small rooms are there passages are there and nobody interferes in any other's work no one does the work of any other kind of ant like the workers do not mess up with the soldiers the soldiers do not mess up with the workers they all do their work systematically intelligently and peacefully they lead the life okay now, let us do the comprehension check questions. The story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue. The italicized phrase means, italicized phrase is almost untrue, highly exaggerated, too remarkable to be true, not based on facts. So the answer is too remarkable to be true. Second is complete the following sentences. An ant is the smallest, the most intelligent, wisest and hard-working insect. We know a number of facts about an ant's life because many people have kept ants as pets and they have studied their daily behavior. In what ways is an ant's life peaceful? An ant's life is peaceful because nobody interferes in any other's work. Like a worker ant doesn't interfere in the work of a soldier ant and each one does his work diligently and uh, they live a peaceful life in such a manner they do not fight with each other.
The queen is the mother of the entire population of the colony. It lives for about 15 years. It has a pair of wings but bites them off after its wedding flight. This flight takes place on a hot summer day. The queen leaves the nest and goes out to meet a male ant or drone high up in the air. On its return to earth, it gets rid of its wings and then does nothing but lay eggs. So, the queen is the mother of the entire population. Whatever number of ants live in that anthill, the whole of the population's mother is the queen only. And it lives for about 15 years and it takes the wedding flight. Wedding flight takes place on a hot summer day. It flies up there in the air to meet a male or a drone. And after that, it comes down and it bites off the wings. And then it starts laying eggs. Okay? Eggs hatch and grubs come out. Grubs are the small young ones. Soldiers guard them. So the soldiers, they guard them. Workers feed and clean them. See, we had read earlier, each one does his work diligently, right? So here, the soldiers are guarding and the workers, they are feeding. And also carry them about for daily airing, exercise and sun sunshine. So the workers, they... Uh, carry the grubs for the daily airing, exercise and sunshine. Two or three weeks later, grubs become cocoons and lie without food or activity for three weeks more. So after three weeks, for two or three weeks, they are grubs and after two or three weeks, they become cocoons and then cocoons, uh, a thread comes out, you know, white, white, you must have seen the ants, they take something white, white in their mouth. That is the worker ants, they are taking the grubs, the grubs who have turned into cocoons out for airing, exercise and sunshine. So that white, white thing, that is the cocoon of the ant. So again, for three weeks, it lays down there without any activity. Then the cocoons break and perfect ants appear. Now it's time for teaching and training. New ants learn their duties from old ants as workers, soldiers, builders, cleaners, etc. After a few weeks training, the small ants are ready to go out into the big world of work. So this is how uh, the young ants, they are taught by the older ants. Whatever work they want to learn, they learn that work and then they enter into the world. Okay, an anthill is a home not only for ants but also for some other creatures, beetles, lesser breeds of ants and the green fly. Why do ants want these alien creatures to live in their nests? For several reasons. So there are other creatures also which live in the ant hill. And what are they? They are the beetles, the lesser breeds of ants and the green fly. So they keep it for some reason. Some give off smell pleasant to the ants' senses, others give sweet juices and some are just pets or playthings like cats and dogs to human beings. So these are the re reasons. Some are like room fresheners, the smell that comes out of some of the other lesser breeds or etc. These insects, they are like room freshener. The others are like uh, the cats and dogs, playful things. The green fly is the ant's cow. So like we have the cow, similarly they have the green fly which is their cow. The ants train it to give honeydew like milk with a touch of their antennae. So they train that green fly. Whenever they touch it with the antennae, it gives honeydew and that honeydew is the milk for them. They milk it just as we milk the cow. So they have to train that green fly. Have humans learned as much as ants have? Perhaps they have. But they haven't put the learning to good use. They may still learn a few things from this tiny teacher. Hard work, sense of duty and discipline, cleanliness, care for the young ones and above all, a firm loyalty to the land where they live. These lines are really very important. This is the learning which the ant gives to us. 
So all these things we need to incorporate in our life. We have seen, we know that all this ants they follow, but we do not follow all this in our life. We need to be highly disciplined. We need to learn cleanliness for them. We need to learn how to follow the work, the chart that is there for them also. They did their work not to fight with each other. And the most important one is loyalty towards the land. So we need to be loyal to the land to uh, in which we are born okay so these are some important things the learnings that we can have from the tiny teacher that is why ant is termed as a tiny teacher just so small yet like a teacher gives you the learning similarly the ant also is giving us all these learnings now let us do the comprehension check questions how long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant it takes around about three weeks for a grub to become a complete ant. Why do the worker ants carry the grubs about? The worker ants carry the grubs about for airing, sunshine and daily exercise. What jobs are new ants trained for? The new ants are trained for workers, soldiers, builders, cleaners, etc. Name some other creatures that live in ant hills. Some other creatures that live in ant hills are lesser breeds of ant, beetles and green fly. Mention three things we can learn from the tiny teacher. The three things that we can learn from the tiny teacher is hard work, discipline, cleanliness, care for the young ones and above all loyalty for the land. So instead of three you write all the learnings. And why do you choose them? Because all these things, if we incorporate in life, if we learn all these things and we follow and practice it in our life, then we'll definitely become better humans. Now, let us do the exercise questions. The first question has got two parts. The first part here asks us to write certain problems that we will face if we keep ants as our pets. So whatever you can think of, whatever problems you must be having, if you would keep a pet, uh, uh, the ants as pet that you are supposed to write. Now, the second part here tells us that the bees, the honeybees, when they find nectar in flowers, they inform the other honeybees about the location and the quantity, etc. through dancing. So what these ants must be doing, uh, you have to guess through the antennae or the uh, feelers. When they touch each, each other's antennae and feelers, what messages they must be passing. Like the bees, they pass the message of the location and the quantity of the nectar. Similarly, you have to guess that what these ants must be passing the messages about. Now, the second exercise here is a short poem where we have to fill in the blanks with the name of the houses of various animals and birds like an ant's house is an anthill. So let us read the poem. Soldiers live in barracks and birds in nests. Much like a snake that rests in a hole, no horse is able to sleep except in a stable and a dog lives well mind you only in a kennel to say hi to an ant if you will you may have to climb an ant hill so this is how you read the poem with the help of the words which are given below that's all for now see you in the next video